Welcome back to In The Loop. Now, I took some time out to attend a few of the back to school events this year, like the back to school extravaganza that was put on by the Five Star Barbershop and the Keynes Brothers. While I was there, I spoke to Dwayne Keynes, who is one of the organizers of this event also. I got to interview one of the sponsors of this event, and you wouldn't believe it. But he even tried to get me to cut my hair too. <laughs> After all, this was a free haircut event with a few new additions to this year's. So, let's hear what they had to say about this year's back to school extravaganza. I'm Antoine Jones here at St. Paul's Centennial Hall at the back to school extravaganza. We got to speak to Dr. Cockwell, Wayne Keynes, and Mr. Chamberlain, some of the organizers and main sponsors of this event. So let's see what they have to say. Now, can you tell us a little about this event and how it started? Sure. Um, this event was started, it was put in Michael Chamberlain. Mike's over there, I'm one of the barbers. He works at Five Star Barbershop. He's a Jamaican national and he wanted to do something in Bermuda that he had seen in Jamaica where barbers come together and give kids haircuts so they can go back to school. My brother Dwayne had seen something similar in New York City. So we wanted to be a part of Mike's dream, Five Star Dream, bringing it together. And what you see today is the community coming together. Look around, there are, there are ladies volunteer to hair braid, gentlemen volunteer to barber, people volunteer on food. All of this is free. That is the best of who we are as a country. I talk to my four barbers and say, hey, look, we're going to do something for the community, the younger youths then. We're going to give them free haircut and school supply. And while I was thinking about it and planning it, planning it, my brother Kane was in the chair next to my chair where I'm cutting at five star. And he looked at me and he said, him call me blocks. He said, blocks, that is a good idea. So how is an event like this in the community important? That's a very good question. The reason why this is important in a community, because sometimes Bermuda is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. So international business, finance companies, everybody comes to Bermuda for a better way of life. So if you talk to somebody that's working in a hotel, they come to Bermuda and they're making money to send back home. The expats, they come to Bermuda and they help us, our economy grows. We have to do certain things as Bermudians, as community partners, to make the life of the everyday Bermuda better. So a young person has to see the circle. The circle starts with me and it ends with me. Before 8 o'clock, over 60 young boys here, and I know between 12 and 1, hey, it's going to be crazy. So I know it's something good and it's very value in the community. And I hope that's enough bigger heads take a note, take a matches, and join and be here for the youth them. Because the youth them today, they need support, they need our help. You know what I mean? We need to stand by them side, we need to, to hold on for them and say, let's go. But it all starts from now. Okay? You all get ready to go back to school. Okay, so I'm here at St. Paul's Centennial Hall at the Back to School Extravaganza with Dr. Crockwell. Now, Dr. Crockwell, can you tell us a little about your haircut and what this event's all about? It's called getting older. <laughs> When I was uh, when I had here in high school, I thought I was the guy like you. And you look at your hair, you thought you, you think you're the guy right now. But one day, my friend, it's gonna get like this. <laughs> so you're the head of the biggest security firm in Bermuda. What does this tie in with the back to school event? It ties in from a holistic perspective. Every time I get up in the morning, every time I sit in my office, we have to look at a plan that one day who's gonna take my place. Who's going to take, we have 200 staff, one day they're going to retire. If I don't invest into Bermuda's future, I don't, that means I'm not investing into the company's future. And one of these young people, including yourself, you might sit here as chief operating officer one day, and, and that's why we have to invest back into our young people. Children, putting them back to school is expensive. I remember not the youngster, my mom used to complain, but thank God for hand-me-downs. Children don't like hand-me-downs no more. <laughs> Going back to school today, and I remember having my own kids. So this event 
helps take some of that financial burden off. Haircuts are expensive, twenty dollars, I believe it is. When I was going to school, there was five dollars. Don't believe it, but it's twenty dollars for my haircut too. Twenty dollars? You, you actually get a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> just run inside, yeah, twenty dollars. So these type of events help take the financial burden off a lot of parents. So how can we work next year to make this event better and bigger? That's a, a not awesome question. How we can make this thing better? This year we've added girls. It's been some teething problems. Why? Because we didn't know how to service girls. We need to figure out next year what I would love to see. School clothes. You know, where a mother comes in, bang, got five or six pairs of shirts. So we need to every year, and I, I want to grow it every year. Why? So the person that is struggling, they get some help. When a kid goes to school on the first day, they got on the nice clothes. You know what I mean? If you, if you have a, a fresh haircut, some fresh kicks on, all your book bags, you feel good, you perform better. Studies show that where a kid has a good breakfast, where they have um, good school clothes and they have books, they're going to perform better. My original statement is, this is our country. It is our responsibility to help each other. Thank you very much. Well, as you can see, Mr. Jerry still has his hair in his head. <laughs> But don't forget to holler at me on the Twitter line at In The Know 441 and you can keep up to date with all of what we do here on In The Know on the official In The Know Facebook fan page at In The Know 441. I'll be right back after the break.